Today we go to the Spanish Grand Prix here in Barcelona in my F1 23 My Team career mode. A long start finish straight, two DRS zones are promised of overtaking. But will it deliver? Our car excels in Spain. The My Team car has always excelled in Spain. Stay tuned for qualifying here today and then the race. In the standings, we're currently top by 13 points to George Russell. Can we retain that? Felipe Drogovic down with only nine points with a 10th place finish in Miami last time out. A red flag last time in Miami. Do go shorter. Check that one out on the very last lap. Make sure to check that one out as we now head into qualifying. First lap then in Q1 for us with this new livery i must say i do really enjoy it it sort of changes between day and night and i love it a lot and we go p1 with a 112 three and that is enough to get us through into q2 felipe Drogovic also getting us through into q2 also getting through into q2 along with charles leclerc who doesn't look very pacey only p10 and lance stroll also down we've lost both williams's both hasses and alpha tari of daniel ricardo and, and alpha romeo of joe Guan Yu with yuki sonoda just making it through into Q2. Let's head to it. Now in Q2, here we are. You'll notice I'm actually on the medium compound of tyres. I believe we've got the pace to get through on one run on these medium tyres. We'll find out if it works now as we come round the final corner. The chicane removed up to the line. It's going to be a 1-12-6 and that's going to put us onto provisional. Oh, what a lap. Ah, oh, but Leclerc ruins it and it's only P4 at the flag. Lance Stroll making up for that pace, but Lando Norris on provisional pole then. As we head to Q3, George Russell and Esteban Ocon, the two shock quali out, the two shock drivers out of qualifying. Verstappen only just sneaking it through. And Felipe Drogovic down in P13. Not ideal for him. Both Alpines and Valtteri Bottas and Pierre Gasly both out. And Sonoda could only manage P15. As now, here we are in Q3 for our last lap. Our first lap was good enough for P3. It was initially the fastest, but now down to P3 behind both McLarens, which look, I must say, incredibly fast today. Our car is the best car on the grid now, as the session is now officially ended. Oscar Piastri currently on provisional pole. Others down the order. We're marginally up on our previous time. So we head down the hill, turn left. Get on throttle early, accelerate. We're 10th down, but now we are gaining time on exit. We're just half a 10th down, and this could be a shot for pole if we can make up time. And we do. That last, that corner there, that little chicane, and where it makes us three tenths up. Must We took it so badly on the first lap. Is now heading towards a second DRS zone. Break, turn in. This has been a good lap from us so far. Can we hold it? We're four tenths up, and Oscar Piastri's time is well within reach. It's now round the final couple of corners we go. Up to the line with three tenths up. Can we hold it? Yes, we can. It's two points, just over two tenths up. And that is enough for pole position in this Spanish Grand Prix. What a lap from us. Great job by the team to give us the car for today. And we are in P1 for the race. Oscar Piastri lines up on the front row alongside us. Then it's both Ferraris of the Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, followed by the Red Bulls of Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez. Alex Alwin impressing in the Alfa Romeo in P7. What a lap from him. Lando Norris down in P8. He was doing so, so well. And then it's followed by the Aston Martins of Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso. Let's head to the race. So many eventful races here in Barcelona over the years. Do you remember Max Verstappen's first win on debut for Red Bull here in 2016? Two years before, we had the dramatic coming together of Hamilton and Rosberg going towards turn four. There's always a treat in store as we head back to the circuit to Barcelona, Catalonia for the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track in Catalonia and the popular opinion in the paddock is that we never wanted the chicane in the first place. That's now been gone. The final corner is much faster and the two Sonoda, 
Fraser, Gasling, Chug, Ricardo, Hulkenberg, Magnussen, Liam Lawson, and Logan Sargent. Now it's time to head down to the track. It's just about time to go to the track for the beginning of the race, but before we do, Natalie Bacon, what types of strategy do you think we can expect going into today's race? Clearly every car can't be as competitive as the next. Some are going to have a clear advantage over the opposition. So it's those teams that can think outside the box in terms of strategy that will come out on top today. I hope they do. I'll try my best, Mark. The strategy seems pretty simple. A soft medium does seem like the fastest way to go. Those around us, I believe, are on the hard compound of tyres for Oscar Piastri and many behind him on hard tyres as well. Leclerc starting on soft for Stappen, one, to, one of the few to start on mediums. I think he might be the only one. We're going to start on the softs and try and pull away from P Piastri as soon as possible. Carlos Sainz also on hard, but obviously he had, he had that penalty, that grid place penalty, so he didn't have that set of soft tyres. But now let's head to the start the race. So we are lining up to the grid. Super excited for this one. I think we've got a great chance to win. And if Russell doesn't do too well, which he's not in the top five, I believe he's sixth. That could give us a huge chance in the championship. So we're all formed up. It's five red lights ahead of us for the Spanish Grand Prix here in season two. We're on pole position. It's lights out. And away we go. Oscar Piastri does get a good start, but we cover him off immediately. And this hard tie is not getting the traction off the line compared to our softs. So we can head towards turn one. We are comfortably ahead, two tenths ahead of Piastri, but we go a bit deep and that probably negates it. But we've kept the position. We're up. We're still in P1 after turn one. And that is exactly what we needed now our the job for us is to pull away from Piastri as soon as possible Leclerc dropped a position to Verstappen so quite surprised considering he is on the softer compound of tyre Perez on the hard staying where he is staying put ahead of George Russell who I believe is also on hard tyres sixth to eighth all on hard tyres is now Lap 9, I'm sorry about no action, Verstappen finally in the DRS, we pulled away from Piastri, but we. But now as the tyres were beginning to kick in, Verstappen just closed in on us as we go wide, we go onto the gravel and that's not ideal, as now Verstappen is right on our tail and he could be going for a move into turn 1 here with DRS, no one else has had DRS on me all race, it's been a very lonely race so far for me, as now Verstappen opens the DRS, he's gaining, he's gaining, he's gaining. We're going to box at the end of this lap as Verstappen takes the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix. We're going to fight him though with DRS up. The best engine on the grid is going to go right round the outside of Verstappen and re overtake him up into P1. Charles Leclerc in P3, his soft tyre is also beginning to wear off and he's now in down to P4 behind Oscar Piastri. As we come into the pits at the end of lap 10, we're calling it. And Sergio Perez also follows us in. It's a very crucial stop for the team. They have to get this right. If we can get this right, I reckon we win. If we don't but, and we lose to Perez, we'll see. The undercut is very powerful on this game. Can we use it to our advantage? As no. No. Go oh, we've lost four. That's 2.5 seconds more lost in the pits. And we have lost the position to Sergio Paris, who has now who gone on to the medium tyres. We've gone on to the hards because we know it suits us and the hards will wear out less. But maybe the better decision now would be going to the mediums or don't pit at all considering where we are now. Behind 1.2 seconds behind Sergio Perez. And we need to overtake Sergeant as quick as possible. And by as quick as possible, that very lap, I'm going to go down the inside into this, into, with DRS. Up into P17. That was a very crucial move. Now we've got to catch up to Sergio Perez as quickly as possible as many others are in the pits. Verstappen stayed out. I believe that's Ham Russell and I want to say um, Signs also staying out but everyone else is in the pits as Perez overtakes the lot but we have come out right behind everyone and apologies as Lewis Hamilton hasn't stayed out because George Russell is up ahead and we're going to break very late on his cold tyres we're going to go round the outside what a move by us as he exits the pit lane and we have to now stay in touching distance with Piastri and Leclerc we've lost so many positions and now lap 16 
we still are in P5. Now everyone's pit. And we need to overtake Leclerc as soon as possible. It's been a while. We've just been stuck in the DRS. But now our tyres are coming into factor. We've got much better tyres than all those who went on mediums. Max Verstappen still leads the race, by the way. So we're going to go down the inside of Leclerc. And up into P4. That is so crucial. And what is more crucial is we stayed in the DRS of Oscar Piastri. So we can still overtake the Australian. Which is so important as now... He has overtaken Perez. Perez is being very slow, I must say. He dropped about 1.5 seconds to Verstappen. And Piastri wants to get in the back in the, his DRS immediately. As Perez still just so slow through the corners. He's, he's got smug. Maybe he's got much more tire weight. His tires are a lap older than everyone else as we come up through um, into the DRS zone. We're going to game, we're going to game, we're going to go to the outside, switch back to the inside, go down the inside of Sergio Perez and up into P3. We like that overtaking zone. Hopefully we can use it a bit more as now Oscar Piastri is in our sights up ahead and we need to get past him as soon as possible. Max Verstappen has gone to the softs. Very brave of him to go to the softs to the end and we're going to go down the inside of Oscar Piastri. Yes, we do. Just down the inside of Oscar Piastri. Had to be squeezed him there. He had DRS as well. We had to make that move and we had to make it quick as now we're up into P2. If we win this, it will be one of our greatest victories, I reckon, in this series, including the Avatari one as well. And lap 20, this is our chance. Our chance to overtake Max Verstappen with three laps to go with DRS, with ERS gaining, gaining, gaining. It's not even a contest. Verstappen's size are much more than us as we retake the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix up into P1 at last. <clears throat> it's took, taken us... Um, 11 laps since our pit exit but we have finally done it up into p1 and now lap 21 verstappen will not want to give up the lead that lightly and he gains on us and he re-overtakes us in to p1 but now with a bit of slipstream can we go back round the outside we're gaining gaining regaining on verstappen we're gonna go round the outside of verstappen yes we are just dance the car around the outside and up into p1 let's go come on one more lap after this one to defend from the two-time world, from the three-time world champion. And this is this lap. We're gain, using all our ERS and Verstappen. He's not gaining at all on us. We got a much better exit than him out the final corner. And we, as we head into turn one, we are unchallenged as on this final lap. This that is so crucial for us. But we go a bit wide and that negates it. Verstappen retakes the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix on the last lap. We're not having any of that. We're going to dive back down the inside. Where Rosberg and Hamilton crash. Luckily, we keep it clean. And Piastri does not get his first win in Formula 1. But we do re-overtake the Dutchman up into P1. And now all we have to do is stick to, to that. Stick to the racing line. And keep the P1. As Verstappen is all over us though. He's going to have DRS here. This is going to be his last opportunity to overtake us. And now DRS gaining. 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 He's going to go to the inside. Max Verstappen. Going for the lead of the race on the last lap. We're going to leave him the space to work with. Go off track a bit and Verstappen's done it. He's overtaken us but we're still on the inside. We're still going side by side. And he's just ahead. No, our nose is ahead. We shove Verstappen wide and we're going to take the win. It's P1 for us. Russell in P5. We're going to reignite our championship fights. We're going to extend the gap to George Russell. We win the Spanish Grand Prix and we had to work for that one. What a race. That was a slow burner, but when it got going, it really got going. First 10 laps, not much. After the pits, our hard tyres just came into their own. And we win the Spanish Grand Prix.
Let's have a look then at the driver standings. Iceman increases their championship. P1 for us and ahead of Max Verstappen in P2. One tenth between us. Oscar Piastri rounds off the top three with his podium and two tenths behind us. Felipe Djokovic did have to make a two stop. I didn't mention this. And Valtteri Bottas also DNF'd. I think Djokovic got damaged. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure where. But he did. It's a shame. But sometimes these things happen. But we can't, can't take away that we've just won the Spanish Grand Prix. In the standings now, we are 28 points ahead of George Russell. So way ahead of the set man in second place. Drogovic in P13 in the standings, ahead of Esteban Ocon. And now Charles Leclerc has also gained in the standings. We're now 12 points ahead of Red Bull in the Constructors. I'm not sure if that's gone up or down. Drogovic not really performing. As now we have gone back to the team hub to celebrate. As we have a retirement announcement from... Fernando Alonso, is he's retiring in the mid-season because if he is, that could trigger some mid-season madness. I'm super excited to see if we'll have a mid-season driver switch. We might be switching drivers. Aston Martin might be switching drivers. See you guys then next time for the Canadian Grand Prix with straights and the Wall of Champions. It promises a good race, so make sure to turn subscribe like and subscribe and turn notifications on to be to be tuned in for that one. And I'll see you guys then. But for now, goodbye.